I think part of it is I just start to really genuinely care about these characters. Right. And, I, and maybe I'm not judging them. So maybe I'm not being necessarily ironic or sarcastic or uh, especially with these guys, especially with this movie. Because when I sat down to write this movie, and I had the initial idea, that, okay, the wrestling kind of made me laugh. I thought, that's going to be fun. Right. And I thought about, there's something intellectually about this, this theme of like a, you know, a, a decent guy who makes a really bad call. And how, did, how, does, how do we reconcile that? Who's that? You're looking for Mr. Poplar? He's my grandfather. I came to live with him. I don't have a grandson. Yeah, you do. Okay. I think the biggest challenge, the thing that when I when I kind of landed on that, I was like, wow, am I really going to go make a movie in a suburb in New Jersey, um, in a town that, like, as a young man, I couldn't wait to get out of because <laughs> it was like, this ain't cool. I got to get out of here. And I spent a lot of my life running away from, and not not in a bad way. I had a great upbringing, great family. It's a nice place to grow up. But you know, you just want to get the hell out of your hometown and go Absolutely. make something with your life. And but I think maybe I was just at the age where I could go back and look at it and be like, and see, you know. How do I represent this without judging it? Mommy, where's Daddy? He's running. From what? The guy who I developed a story with, Joe Taboni, he's an old, old friend of mine. He now lives in that town. He's an elder law attorney. A little cherry picking from his life, but more importantly, it was the overall about, wow, my, one of my dear buddies moved back there to raise his family. I had a hard time reconciling. I was always like, what? <laughs> like, dude, the whole world? You end up back. It's like, it's nice. Let's go to the diner, see your parents. I'm like, oh. Uh, but I could see it. And spending time with him. His, his wife is great. His kids are great. And I'm like, oh, I get it. I get it. So that was, that was the big challenge for me. How do I make this very conventional place operate and make it compelling for people that, uh, from all different walks of life, from my world, or from people who like a good story? Um, that was the challenge, and it really, I think some of it is just investing in the characters, you know, and really believing in them for their flaws and their strengths. Money is tight. This boiler sucks. How much to fix it? Six grand. Holy. My law practice is struggling. Mr. Poplar has been deemed incapacitated by this court. To be win. And the team is hopeless. I can't watch this. My feeling is if an audience invests in characters, if they're really right up front like, all right, I get this guy or I get this girl, or I like that, then they're going to go with it. It's just like spending time with someone at a party. You sit down next to some guy, and you're like, oh, boy, what a tool. You're going to kind of turn to the right. But if you're like, this guy's, this is going to be good, then you're in for a fun night, you know? Right. And I think that same way about characters in the film. Can you give me a slap? OK. Like that? It's a little harder. Why Daddy hit Kyle? I have no idea. And it's sort of a different role for him because this is a guy who loves his life. Mm -hmm. He's very content. He's not desperate and deranged and all these things happening inside, which Paul is so wonderful at playing. This is a guy who, like, married the woman that he loves, has a couple of kids that he adores, has a job that he really loves. It's just not working, so he's got that pressure. And um, it's fun to watch him do that. And I think he so seamlessly portrays this guy as what a small town lawyer should be, which is the guy everybody knows and kind of likes and talks to it, whether it's at Dunkin' Donuts or outside church. But they also, when they sit down across the desk from him, they trust him. Mm -hmm. They believe in him. He's the guy they need to tell things. And that's, that's a quality that that small town lawyer or doctor needs to have. What's it like to be as good as you are? It feels like I'm in control of everything, you know? Must be nice. There's something about this young man that comes into his life, which, uh, from a very, just very early on, uh, this young boy brings a chance. He brings risk, and he also brings a chance for redemption. And I don't think Mike even sees that until it's too late and too painful. Right. Uh, and then he makes good by it. So I, I think, you know, I think all of my movies sort of deal on some level with some type of redemption. I think right. it's a it's a tenet of storytelling, isn't it? Um, and I think in, in this particular story, maybe more so than others, um, because there is an actual, um, there's a big mis a misstep. And, and it's one that when seen through the eyes of his community, his friend, his wife, his family, uh, he doesn't feel so good about. And I think that is very interesting. To this kid's got a chance to do something special, maybe even change his life. Yes! I want to see my son! Give him a call. It says a lot about, I think, about Jackie and Mike's relationship that, you know, they have some pretty hard conversations, but they, they stay in the same room 
-hmm. You know, they keep talking it. It's not pretty and it's not resolved and it's not, all is not forgiven. Right. But they're a couple, they're a partnership and they believe in that. And I think that's something that those guys p portray so beautifully. Paul and Amy, they bring to the screen so beautifully that you just, you believe they like each other. Yeah. You believe like they're, part, they're, they're a couple who still like gets a kick out of each other, you know. And I would see that on set and I'll see it on, I'd see it on the camera. And it's it's, it's uh, definitely something I think we, we captured. No. Why do you freak him out? I did not think that it would get this complicated. You stay in this, okay? This is your place. This is your place. You control it. Remember? You control it. I think Jackie's one of those women who's just, she just wants to get it out there. Even, the, even at the end of the movie where she tells Kyle she loves him, it's so direct and so right. kind of like, all right, if you're going to leave, you're going to know this. You know, yeah. it's, there's almost a challenge in the way she says it. Right. Uh, and that's just a great performance. Does your mom even know you're here? She's at a clinic or something. She doesn't care about me. She's a druggie. I'm not sending him back there. So what do we do? Go to Ohio and beat the crap out of his mom. Bob is a very dear friend of mine. He's been a friend of mine long before the station agent. And we share a similar sense of humor. I, he's, look, he's a terrific actor. It's great having a great friend who you get who also happens to be a great actor. So. It's easy, you know, and I, I loved writing this role for him. Early on, I was cracking up on certain things, and, and he just made a lot of those things funnier. And, um, you know, I always saw him as he's the kind of friend that just you're always going to have in your life. He's going to make you laugh. You're going to want to strangle him one moment, and, and then you're going to be laughing with him the next. And, and there's a real bravado to him, but there's also a real vulnerability to him, and I think that's something Bobby does pretty well. Hey, you're breathing funny. Is it your heart? You could be having a heart attack, Mike. No. On. Let's lay down. No. Let's lay down. Are you cold? Yeah, because I'm laying on the ground. Come on, I'm going to warm you up. Oh, it's okay. Terry. It's okay. Are you all right? Doctor says it's stress. Sorry. Did he prescribe anything for you? Yeah, jogging. I'm You're proud of the movie, and I feel like these three movies fit very well together. This one might be a little looser and funnier and sloppier, but for all the right reasons, you know? Win, win.